of approval of using the duplex as a duplex also limit the number of occupants in the main building. So those two go together. If a future buyer or the current owner wants to have more people in the main dwelling as a single family residence with a big family, then okay, fine, but that means ceasing the use of the duplex. Which is why I say limit the limit the number of people in the duplex or the total number of people on the property. Total number of residents on the property. And then technically we're not affecting the home. We're not addressing the home. We're addressing the duplex and the property itself. Right. In other words, you're only limiting the occupancy of the home while there's a duplex that's active. Right. If the home goes beyond that, then no more duplexes. Well, if the it gives a number of choice. Yeah, or if they just rent the duplex to a single, two singles, they could have seven in the house and one in each duplex. No, the way it would be to put a grand total for the property, and it would be also as part of that in the other duplex. That would be another one. If that was what the board chose, and at some point in the future, a family, a true family that has six kids plus mom and dad and they want to buy the house and live in the house and then rent the duplex would they be able to come and ask for a change I mean ask for a variance for the number because it is a family or are they precluded from that? It would be, all right, you would put those conditions in the certificate. Right. It's recorded, so when they purchase the property, they directly even notice them. If they want to change that, they come back through this exact same process to the land of the which is establishing another deal with whatever new terms and conditions they're like. That process is be able to do in the public area. Just okay. Like Okay. Uh, we would also have a record of all of those things. I think that's all too complicated. It's a pretty stretchy what is scenario. Yeah, it's too complicated. Do we have enough information for somebody to make a motion? Thank you. 
move on to other business. Uh, I believe everybody's received a copy of the previous meeting minutes that were updated and first and last minute changes. No, 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 it's all right. Um, uh, does anybody have any changes to the meeting minutes? Make a motion to be approved as presented. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Um, I believe uh, tenants review. We have Ms. Hobby out. That's a family matter. That's excuse. Um, and then one other that was. Uh, I own this one and I bought this. Okay. So I own oh, okay. these two. So there's no All right. Uh, no any other business we need to discuss? I had just had one question with the gentleman about there's no fence in between, so he and I might get together later to put a privacy fence up. Is there another board that I have to go in front of to put a fence up? You may need to apply for a permit. Permit. Permit's office. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, all right. If there's no other business, we are adjourned. Thank you.